In this presentation we are going to look at isomorphic graphs. Now, in particular what we're going to consider is the matter of, I just have to scroll back here, two graphs can appear very different when inspected visually, see, visually, but they could be have the same adjacency structure, which is to say they could be isomorphic. But you have to sort of tell, uh, inspect the um, graph thoroughly before you can make any decision. So here we have two graphs and in each case what we're going to do first off is uh, just write in the uh, degree for each uh, vertex. So that's degree 1, degree 3, that's degree 2, that's degree 2, that's degree 2. And in graph 2 this is degree 1, this is degree 3, this is degree 2, 2, and two. So we're going to start off. What is uh, always useful is to start off with the graph with uh, the with the degrees, the vertices, the vertices with the highest degree. So in this case, I'm going to pick out E, and uh, R. Okay. Now let's just see what the degrees of the vertices they are connected to. Well, one in this direction, two in this direction, two in this direction. And here, two, one, and two. So far so good. Now actually if you had, this is, these are two very simple graphs, but if you had a problem here, for example, um, this didn't work out, but there was another vertex of degree three. Just switch that instead and keep going. So, uh, so far so good. So what we're going to do is uh, assign uh, equivalence, uh, or like the sort of uh, try and sort of construct an equivalence. So we're saying T is equivalent to A in the other graph. We're saying that this is equivalent to E in the other graph. Um, we're going to just have to sort of uh, take a uh, pot shot here and say that, or take a lucky guess and say that this um, top one here, this is going to be uh, equivalent to C and this one down here, that is going to be equivalent to D. Okay. And what a, let's just look at these now. So A pretty much is A and T. They're both of degree one, so not particularly interesting. So we're going to move to the other two. So S, it's connected to a vertex of degree three and a vertex of degree two. Let's go to D on the other side. It's connected to a vertex of degree three and a vertex of degree two. So far, so good. And so what about the other one? Likewise here, vertex C is connected to a degree of, uh, a vertex of degree two and a vertex of degree three. And like the last one, the man out now is uh, B and that must equal to Q. It is connected to a vertex of degree two and a vertex of degree two. So that everything checks out now. So. Um, what we're saying is the isomorphism is as follows. A it is, corresponds to T, B corresponds to Q, C corresponds to P, uh, D corresponds to S, and E corresponds to R. Okay. Anyway, that's the general gist of it. Now, I'm just going to add in one extra other remark. So that's how we, that's one approach we can take. But we're also going to look in here at cycles. So we actually have a cycle of length four here. Okay, that's a cycle of length four there, and it's the only cycle in that graph. And is there something that corresponds to it here? Well, yes, there is. Going down here, up here, and up here, there is another cycle of degree four. And in this case, there is only one cycle, sorry, of length four, 
and in both case, in both graphs there is only one cycle and it is both uh, uh, they are both of length 4 so that's another way of checking there's quite a few ways of checking if graphs are isomorphic anyway that ends our presentation